Okay, guys, this is Cruise Roy with the FW450 V3. I have it hooked up. Um, I just want to talk about the flight modes. Um, I'm doing this for myself to remember where the slider is. Here's the slider. And as you change the numbers, the slider changes. The reason is I want to put everything on my Futaba radios. Um, I've been through Radio Master, E-Sky, you name it, FIR Sky, Fly Sky. And my favorite for me is Futaba. So Futaba doesn't set up the servo numbers like you see here, the 1300, 1400. It doesn't use those numbers. It uses offsets. And I've been having a little trouble getting it. I have an idea, <clears throat> but I'm doing this for myself so I can kind of watch the video back and see what I'm doing. I think I need to put them in order like this, whether or not they're backwards or not, they have to be in order. Uh, 1000, 1300 for the S, you know, six access, uh, 1400 for Addy mode, 1500 for GPS, 2000 for return home. As it is right now, you have the 1000, the 1500, and the 2000. So these two here, a caught in between these two numbers. So I might have to do every other one, like 1,000, and then I'll put 1,400, or 1,300, and then I'll put 1,500, or 14, whatever. However it works with Futaba. Futaba has a calculation for the servo movements in like an offset, and it's a percentage from negative 200 to positive 200. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you don't have to worry about this video. I'm just doing it for myself. And maybe it'll help somebody else out. But I want to use just two switches uh, to run all of this. And uh, sometimes you can use one and a half switch and you're just doing it, you know, so three times two. I, I think I'm missing one here, but we're going to work with the five flight modes that I had written down. All right, so let's, let's do the video. Watch this slider. So right now, let me unlock the radio. And let me go into the fly mode. Um, where we're at right now is return mode, and that's 2,000 hertz. I think that's actually how it works. I'm not sure, but it is the movement of servos. Same numbers you see in certain other fly bios controllers. Uh, so this one's at 2,000, so that's your return home. And then I'll click up, uh, click down to in the center and that's 1500 that's your GPS mode and if you notice the slider moved to GPS ATTI which is weird because ATI should be here when the bar moves but it's actually backwards and then the return uh, I mean 3D that goes all the way to the left hand side and there's your 3D all right so what I'm gonna do is what they're doing online is they're changing the GPS. So let me go back to GPS. All right, so right now that's a 1500. I'm only saying the number because this is 1500. I'm gonna go to 1400. I'm gonna put my arrow, my mouse arrow, right on the bar. And I will go in now and change it to 1400, which is Addy mode. And if you notice, that's where it moved. So 1400, I'm gonna point at it. 1400 is right there. And that is for Addy mode. Now, one more time, I'm gonna move it. They say it's 13. So 1300, I'm gonna point at it again. This is 1300 right there. So when I'm adjusting my Futaba, or maybe when you're doing your radio master as well, even though you put the numbers in, you can check where the slider is supposed to be. Now at 1300, my light is blinking red on the helicopter. I'm gonna go up one. There's 1400, so that's Addy mode. And we're still blinking red on the FW450. Now I'm going to put it back where it was, which is 15, GPS lock. I got a blinking yellow light and I'm inside so it will not turn green. Sorry about that. And 
So now we're all back to normal. Let me check that off. Let me get out of fly mode. So now we're back to your 3D mode is all the way to the left. GPS is right in the middle. And return mode is all the way to the right. And if you notice the slider too, check it out. It's solid. GPS is in the middle. Not too hard to figure that one out. And 3D is completely missing. There's no green in here. Mine's a green. You can change the color. Um, I mean, if you have a new want to know how to do that, just click this little thing here. And I kind of like the green that I had. Let me go back. Right there. All right. So you notice the green. Oh, well, it's actually a different green. So the green is completely missing. And all the way up. It's filled. What I notice is guys have them off. Let me go back to fly mode if I can. So we're on return home. And I'm going to move it slightly. Oh, I'll just move it one point. I see guys doing their radio and there's a little bit of gap here, like white. Just make sure you fill this solid. Futaba can move in smaller increments. But I notice some people have white bars when they go either left or right. So it's an empty spot. So it might not be perfect that way. You might get problems. I'm just doing it the way the stock radio does it. If it fills it up solid, that's the way I'm going to do my Futaba. All right. So this is Cruiseroy and... I'm just doing this for myself. Like I said, hopefully it helps somebody out.